Hey, what's going on everybody? Scott Dog Gaming here. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we're back. We're playing some Football Manager 2016 or This is Sparta. Let's play with Sparta Rotterdam now. We are up against NEC. Let's have a little look at uh, what's happened so far. We've only played the two games, but as you can see, four whole points from those two games leaves us in fourth place. Fantastic news. Obviously, as you can see, the... Uh, the games are going to get tougher, considerably tougher, but a good start early is, is great for us. Um, so we are up against NEC. We've got some injury issues or one injury issue. Um, Kuhn Rock is out, which means we're uh, playing Al Haft out on the wing. It's not really not really suited. Oh, he's not really suited out there. Um, who did I just change? Let's get him. What is going on? Hello? Why can't I move you? What? Why, why won't this work? Okay, so that's working. What is going on here? Why won't it let me... Why won't it let me move players? I don't want to play him in the middle. There we go. That was a bit weird. What am I doing? What? <laughs> Genuinely, what am I doing? Okay. And let's get him back in. Now we've got a problem out on the right wing. That's what I was trying to get to uh, before I was rudely, rudely interrupted by the game. I mean, I could put Calera out there. It doesn't feel like he's really suited to it. Um, let's go out half. I mean, neither are good on fitness. Neither have played any real games for us. So I think this is where we're going to end up. So uh, there we go. Let's get started. Franus and Sorensen are in the back. Um, hopefully, hopefully we don't miss and rock too much but he did make a huge impact in his on his debut for us um send the assistant hopefully we can scrape out a result here so um Kuhn rock was out for eight to 12 days i think so you know we might miss him for a couple of games which isn't great news for us but uh, we'll just have to see how we cope you know, we don't really have any cover in that position which is a bit of a shame but uh, it is what it is. They are in behind us early on. And they've put it wide. Should have scored. Early let off for us. Okay. Half an hour gone. It is nil-nil. There's not a lot happening in this one. I have to say 37 minutes gone. Just that one chance so far. Um, there's Van Dronglen, he's found Fitto, and he's going to have to be the one who creates our chances and pulls the strings. There's the ball across, Calero's there, he's scored. Defender didn't read it, good ball across and a good goal. Keeper didn't really react to it either. We'll absolutely take that. Don't quite know how he got there first, he slid from quite a way away and it came off his knee from the looks of things. We don't care, it went in. That's all that matters. Just before half time as well, great time to score. And two minutes to go until that half time whistle. And there we go. So we've got some problems at the back. Sorensen is quite tired, and then we've got Al Haft, who uh, he probably needs to come off at some point in the second half due to his, uh, his fitness and, and conditioning levels. Uh, but here we go. Can we keep it tight for the early part of the second half? That's what we want. Okay. Ajax are 3 0 up. There's Nerol, there's Ahmed, the youngster, Al Haft out wide. Van Buren back to Ahmed. There's Langdrek, now Calero out to Al Haft. We're holding on to the ball, let's not lose it. There's the ball out to Van Buren. He's going to get there and keep it in. There's a ball across. It's a great goal. Doubles our lead. And the way we held on to that ball for so long is so, so pleasing. Just passed it around, waited for that run. Perfect ball. Got there just before it went out. And there's the finish. 2-0. Brilliant result for us if this stays this way. Probably need to make a change at the back, I think. Don't have a defender to bring on. Might leave it as is for now. <laughs> Should have made sure we had a centre half on the bench. What was I doing? 15 minutes to go. Now have to out to Van Buren. 
Oh, it's an OG. It's an OG, not great for them. Now we can make that change fairly comfortably. In you go at the back there. You can go in as well and we'll look at maybe, Hamid is quite tired. You know what, let's get, let's get you in the middle. We should be able to hold on for this. Good little ball back out wide. There's the ball whipped across. Not sure the confusion happened between defender and goalkeeper, but it did. And that's what the result was. Ball drifting into the back of the net. Last 10 minutes. It looks like we're going to see out a 3-0 win. Who'd have thought? Maybe even more. Here's the ball into the box. Ball was headed back across and cleared to safety. Oh, and kept in. And they are onside. Played on by this fella here. And there's the goal. Defreets our centre-half, who shouldn't be playing in centre-back. Just no idea where he was supposed to be. No idea what he's supposed to do. And there's the goal. Disappointing. Would have been nice to keep a clean sheet. But uh, I think we've only got ourselves to blame by making those changes. But uh, never mind. And there's the end of the game, a 3-1 win. It's a fantastic result for us. Let's tell the boys they can be play pleased with the football they played. And let's head on into the next game. We are top of the league. And Buren had a great game. Okay. And who's up next? FC20. Okay, Gabriel Tamas and Dick. Okay, don't need to strengthen those areas just yet. Uh, realistically, I'm looking for a probably a midfielder um, just to give us some extra extra cover. We've got some youngsters. Would be nice to have a good right winger coming through. Everything we seem to have that's sort of ready on the peripherals of a of our first team is a left winger. I think we are trying to change some to right wingers, but that will take some time. It'd be nice if Max Ahmed could potentially drift out there. He can stay in the middle. As you can see, lots of lots of uh, potential. But it'd just be nice if we could get one of our other youngsters to play right wing. So if we do lose uh, our first choice right winger, they can, they can step up for a game. Um, oh, is that really who we have got? Maybe I got this wrong. Hold on. Who are we playing next? AZ, my mistake. Okay. We are away. Tomorrow afternoon is when the game is. Here we go. Looks like Kyung Rook will be on the uh, on the bench potentially if we do decide to um if we do decide to, to bring him in. I think he does have injury problems. I think this is one of the one of the issues with him. But based on what he did in that first game, we you know, he's a, a worthwhile risk. Looks like AZ are in eighteenth place. And this I guess this is the kind of player that we want to be able to get out over here. Okay, let's see if that makes any odds. Get him training to be a right winger. Just see how we do. It'd be nice just for one of those just to step up on that side of the pitch if we need them. Okay. So what's going on? It's putting Young Rock in. I'm not convinced that's what we want to do. I think we'll give him the we'll give him the time. Probably want a centre half in on the bench. Put him in there. Our young striker, Carlson, is on the bench. Um, not rated that highly. We have put him up for loan, I think, to see if we can get some offers in. Um, Vissers, who was our first choice, has been uh, has been replaced by Hamed, who uh, they seem, I think, to be at a very similar level. And I think it's Hamed that we, uh, we expect more from. And then we've got... Uh, 
Rip for Mr. Hughes, also training to be a uh, a right midfielder. Let's just switch that round a little bit. Um, okay. And at the moment, can't get him to play in uh, any other position. So we'll start the game up against AZ. We are at home again. There we go. We've been replaced at the top of the league, but a win here would see us go top. They are playing a very defensive formation. We're going to keep with the hard tackling. Let's see how that pays off, if anything. I hope we don't get a red. Here we go. Oh, oh, we've just about got that clear. I think it may have hit the post. I'm not sure. Lost the ball a little bit. Neryl has been injured. Oh, dear. Well, De Fritz, you're up, my friend. And this is where we're going to struggle without midfielders. This is where we're going to really struggle. I mean, we've got people who can cover. They're just not at the level we need them to be. You know, we've got people who can play there. But... It's a, it's a quite a drop in quality. Oh my lord, what a finish. Calero with the goal, third of the season. Great ball, and to drive it past the keeper on the half volley. Class, Van Dronglen to Ahmed. Great little ball just over defender's head. Let's it run over his body and smashes it across the keeper into that far corner. 22 minutes gone, we're a goal up. Swampson with the header, Ahmed picks it up. Out to Van Buren. De Fritz to Ahmed. Ahmed finds... Oh, Ahmed is pulling the strings in the middle of the park. That's sensational play from him. Just two fantastic balls. Look at the run from Legendrek. And there's the ball around the outside of the, uh, the centre half. Great run. Great goal. Two good goals for us this game. 2-0 up. Be good if we don't concede before half time. We have managed to hold them at bay just just during that move. Didn't really get near the ball. There's Ahmed again. He's waiting for a run. He's looking for a run. Oh, he's had a pop himself. Who, thought, who saw that coming? I thought he was waiting for a pass. And all of a sudden, that shot was fired in. There's Lugendrek. There's Ahmed again. There's the ball to Calero. Out wide to Van Dronglen. Fitto. There's the ball across. Ooh. Wait, tried the back heel. Couldn't quite make it, make it work. 37 minutes gone. They are in behind us. Oh, good save, Keeps. Oh, Ahmed was offside. Be nice to see him get a goal. Him and my keeper currently are, are pulling the strings. Maya Zek and Ahmed. I wonder so many of the big clubs have been chasing our youngsters. They do look like they have futures. Just a little concerned as to how much ball these guys are currently getting. Oh, and there is the goal. Stefan scores. A bit jealous that all his name is in capital letters. Why is this? Um, anyway. 2-1. Disappointing time to concede just before half time. And one thing that worries me is do we have... Do we have the uh, kind of team that can see out sticky, horrible games where there's a fight? I'm not convinced we do. I think if we've got the lead, we look okay. If we've got a good lead, if it starts to become a bit messy, I'm not sure we are suited for that kind of game. I think there's every chance we'll always, always crumble under that sort of pressure, especially with the youth we've got. Oh, 
and make that change in there. 70th minute. Right with a free kick. Keeper comes out and claims it quite comfortably as well. There's Ahmed. Legendrek out to Van Buren. Good ball. There's Huait. He's pulled it back to nobody. Van Dronglen picks it up. Ahmed. Ooh, trying to pull the strings in there again. Couldn't quite make it work. Plays simple ball. That's what we like to see. And another one. And there's Calero. And there's the save. And it's a corner. 20 minutes to go. Ball is hoofed clear. And Buren is going to just jog back and pick this one up. Can we hold out? That is the question. Bron Carlson trying to try and run this one out in terms of keeping pressure on the ball. Get some fresh legs trying, if we do get the ball forward, give them something to, uh, to be concerned about. Nine minutes to go. And here they come. Haven't really been in it other than the goal they scored. And now they are well and truly in it. It's a good save. It's bobbling around. We've got it. Got a goal kick. We're a little bit fortunate. Seven minutes to go. To tell them to concentrate for the last couple of minutes. We've got a corner. It's not over commit. Fito picks it up. Has the shot, it's over the bar. That should be the end of it. A 2-1 win, Ahmed was sensational. Keeper gets man of the match. But uh, Ahmed really, really pulled the strings in the middle of the park. Let's give the players credit for an amazing victory. And there we go, look at this. Four games in, who'd have thought it? Top of the league. Lots of big teams in here. That we need to uh, we need to come up against soon, but we will take that very early on. Nero is out for broken ribs for four to five weeks. I think we're going to need to dip into the transfer market and see if we can find a um, see if we can find a midfielder somewhere. But uh, we'll call it the end of the episode there. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, follow us on Twitter at Scott Gaming. See you again soon. Thank you. We'll <laughs>